Micah, the mayor's office says two-thirds of the federal funds coming to Chicago replace revenues lost during the pandemic. But the mayor and city council focusing significant resources on hard-hit neighborhoods while boosting police spending and public safety initiatives to bring alternative approaches to violence reduction. We now have, I am proud to say, the largest targeted economic relief program in the history of this country. Chicago's Mayor Lori Lightfoot at the Cultural Center calling next year's budget a once-in-a-generation opportunity. We have to work together like we have not worked before. It brings resources back to our communities. It brings resources back to our neighborhood. Two years running into a pandemic it's been the toughest time in Chicago's history. This is indeed a progressive budget. Budget supporters at City Council today weighing in on the 2022 budget. I want to thank you for uh, your willingness to work with us on this budget. Alderman Michael Scott thanking Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Public safety a major concern for Scott and many others on the council given surging crime and a rash of carjackings among other problems. Many of the accused perpetrators young people. There's $189 million in increased police spending, CPD's total budget nearing $2 billion. But there's also $45 million in violence intervention efforts and $30 million for at-risk youth programs to address the root causes of violence, the mayor says. Then there's the pressing issue of mental health. And for the first time in 10 years, there's meaningful investments to build those clinics. Progressive aldermen recognizing progress. Money for our youth! But a vocal group of protesters outside City Hall pushing the city to reopen mental health clinics that were closed by then Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Money for jobs! This budget today does not offer recovery, nor is it progressive. But the mayor allocating $52 million for mental health initiatives, establishing trauma-trained centers of care, a 911 alternative crisis response program with increased care in underserved communities through a mobile response team and more residential and intensive outpatient treatment. But some say the $16.7 billion budget amounts to a Christmas time spending spree for city council. We have a budget. That is grossly out of balance, yet again. There's $240 million for affordable housing, $188 million for climate change initiatives, and a $31 million uh, for a one-year basic income program for 5,000 of Chicago's neediest families. They're slated to receive $500 checks in a controversial poverty-fighting program, but Ray and Micah, the budget also includes, includes an increase in the property tax. It's going to add about $38 to the average bill for the average homeowner. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad, and this federal money coming yeah. into Chicago certainly helps Augmented. at this point in time. All right, thank you, sir. After today's wonderful weather change,